Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be kind of like my go-to makeup at the moment. Um, obviously we are all like in lockdown and stuff. Um, I don't do my makeup every day um, just because obviously we're not really going anywhere but most days I am doing my makeup just because I feel as though if you kind of do something it's like even just like either styling your hair like today I've kind of just left mine. Um, but even if it's just like doing one thing, like giving yourself a pamper session or just doing your makeup or doing your hair or something like that, it just kind of makes you feel better in yourself that you're not just lying around doing nothing. Um, it's just a little tip that I like to use if I'm like feeling as though I'm just lounging around and I'm not really being very productive. At least if I've got my makeup on, I do feel a little bit better and I've actually done something. So, and this makeup does not take a lot of time at all. Um, I have done a bit similar skin in a couple of my other previous videos, like a bit ago. Um, but this is like going to be my complete, what I've literally been doing from day to day, unless I decide to go for a really crazy, like eye makeup or anything, this has literally been the makeup that I've done and it literally, maximum, takes me 15 minutes. A lot of the times I can do it in 10 minutes. So let's just jump straight into it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be taking the MAC strobe cream Um, I got this um, in my MAC cosmetics like whole thing Um, I got it as a little free sample and I've actually quite been working it for um, a primer um, as it just gives a little bit more glow to my skin especially because it's not like a super intense like coverage skin um, so I have been liking that then for foundation, I have just been using the Revolution um, Conceal and Define Usual One and the MAC Studio Fix in NC12. And I'm just mixing the two of these on my skin. As you can see, I'm not putting like that much on. It's probably not even like nowhere near like a full pump on my face. I'm just putting some of this on. Then I'm just using a flat top um, kabuki brush. Um, I actually posted a picture um, a couple of days ago um, of the look of this makeup. Um, and I got quite a few um, comments um, saying that they uh, liked the makeup and it looked really nice. Um, so I thought, why not film a video for you? Um, I do really like it as well because it's really easy to do, but also, doesn't look as though you've got a lot of makeup on and also it allows your skin to breathe a little bit because there's not like I'm not going to be powdering my face today you're not like putting on layer after layer of makeup So I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix um, Concealer and the ELF Camo Concealer. So how is everyone getting on during the lockdown? Um, to be fair, we're not doing too bad. Obviously, it's getting a bit boring now and it's even more annoying seeing the fact that people aren't still abiding by the rules. But what can you actually do about it? But um, it's been a nice couple of days actually. So I've been able to sit out in the garden because we have quite a big garden. Um, so we were sat out yesterday and probably sit out today actually. It's, apparently there's not meant to be as much wind today. So I'm just gonna be using a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is actually a new one. That's why it looks so clean. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll probably sit out later on today, but I think I'm going to clean all of my makeup brushes today. Um, just to be quite proactive and clean every single one um, because just to give them a nice deep clean. I always think it's very th therapeutic as well when you've like cleaned all your makeup brushes and stuff, but I have a feeling it's probably gonna take me a while. Right, 
right now I'm just going in with a sponge and there's literally like nothing on it. It's just the excess from my concealer. And I'm just going to be bouncing this all over my face. What this does, it pushes the product into the skin a little bit more um, after using just a brush. I quite like this because it makes it look a little bit smoother. Like I don't mind, I do like using a brush, but this just pushes it and it makes it look a little bit more like the skin. Then I'm using the Revolution foundation again, but this is in the shade F12, so this is a darker shade, and I'm just going to be doing some cream contouring with this. Putting a couple of dots on, and I'm using a Sigma Angle Kabuki F88. Um, you can use any brush that's kind of similar to this, it does not matter. Okay, I didn't put enough on. I need a wee bit more. Watch now, I'll have too much. I'll move that. Normally, I well, sometimes I use a sponge to blend this in and then other times I'll use a brush. It just depends on how I'm feeling, but lately I've been liking the brush rather than the sponge. Um, and also for the reason that I am going to be using the Benetton and it can stain the sponge like quite a lot, especially with repetitive use. Like even after washing it out, it just seems to absorb like, on my last one, like I don't know if you ever noticed, but it was always really quite red, and it's because I used it quite a lot. Um, I did like the finish that it gave, but it just stained it, which doesn't look very nice because it doesn't look clean, but it just seemed to stain it because I, I I did obviously use it an awful lot. Whereas with a brush, it doesn't seem to do that just as much. And I'll just pop some a little bit on my forehead. It's actually quite sunny today. I've not got any lights on apart from just natural lighting. So I am squinting a tiny little bit just because it is so bright. So it's just causing my under eye concealer to crease just a little bit. So then I'm going in with my Benetint, like I said. Popping this on. Taking that same angled brush and blending it in. Just gives a nice flush on the cheeks. Then for brows, you know that I switch it up between a few, but today I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. one in, it's called the Wow Brow in the shade Brunette. I just switch it up by a couple of different ones. It just depends on whatever I'm feeling on that day. Right, and then sometimes I would just literally put um, mascara on my bottom lashes and then other times I've been going in with this Forgive Me Susie, um, obviously only in the last like week or so, um, but I have actually been liking it. Um, it's like a kind of bronzy shade. I got it in my birch box. I'm just going to pop a little bit on today. Some days I've done it and some days I haven't. It just depends if I want a little bit of shimmer on the lid. I only do a little bit so that it's not too crazy and intense. Well, also because I'm not putting like a um, crease colour on either. So if I put like, um, if I put a crease colour on then I'd probably do a bit more, but I'm literally just putting it on to see, it just gives a bit of depth to the eye. And it sets down really fast as this as well, um, which is nice. It doesn't stay like really tacky. So I'm quickly just going to put some bottom lash mascara on. Obviously, I still have my eyelashes on, um, but I'm probably going to take them off soon just because I have lost a few now. But they have done really well, like really.
Then now that I know that my face makeup is like kind of settled down a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn, the cosmetics, the flash palette and go in with um, Gleam and Iced and just mix them together and just pop it on my, I'm just doing a light little highlight, like I'm really not putting any product on. Really, like on the brush, I'm just doing it really gently just so that it's not like too crazy and intense, but just so that my skin's got a nice glow to it. Pop some on top of the brow. Then for lips, I'm going in with the um, MAC Matte Honey Love. You can go in with whatever lipstick you want. If you did want to be like really bold, you could go in with like a bright lip or something, but um, today I don't want that look. So this is the finished look. Like I said, it literally takes me like, well, there's, 15 minutes completely, 15 minutes and like 30 seconds on the camera and obviously I've done my intro and everything like that. So obviously it doesn't take that long. It's really quick, really easy and it looks quite nice as well. So if you do wind up going to the shop, which obviously you shouldn't be going in big groups, then obviously it's quite natural. It doesn't take a lot of time to do. And you just also feel a bit, a little bit more like perked up and stuff, like you've actually done something and you're not just lying around in your comfy clothes, even though I am actually in comfy, but anyway. <laughs> If you have enjoyed this little quick um, makeup look that is my go-to makeup at the moment, then please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. And I will just see you in my next one. All right, bye guys.